everyone, Alfie here from the PHUHD and I am wearing a reflective coat to make me stand out so you can focus on me a little bit more. Tell me if you like it in the comment section below. Yeah, it is pretty, like, I just like standing out because I, I want you guys to notice me. There we go. What happens if I turn the brightness all the way down? Oh no, it just makes it worse. All the way up. Oh, didn't change anything. Oh well. But anyway, that's not it for today. What we are going to be doing today is starting a brand new series on FIFA 18. And today, it is called Trading 2 1 Million. So this is a series where I trade from zero coins to one million without playing a single match. I just have to use like objectives, SBCs, all of that stuff and hopefully I can trade to one million coins by the end of the year and yeah so I basically just made another account just randomly and yeah just see if we can get it. So uh, if you want me to do more of this, which, well you'll have to watch the video before you decide. Um, I've just noticed that the sound probably sounds right. I'll take my hood down. You can still focus on me. I have my hood sticking out. You can focus on me, can you? Can't you? Oh, look at that. It won't come up. But anyway, go ahead and watch the video. And it's going to be sick. Because if we get to 1 million coins, you guys can like send me suggestions for like teams I can make and all of that stuff. And yeah, I might even give away the account at the end of the year, so stick around for that. But anyway, let's get into the trading. Okay, so here we are with my nifty new team, which we are going to be using throughout the whole of this series. I'm yet to name the club, um, because the way I did it, I did the daily objective, but I can't unlock that daily objective at the minute because I have to play a match. But um, basically what I've done is this squad builder which has now given me a silver premium players pack which is tradable. So you know like what um, in, in early FIFA 18 you know what um, price they go for. So if you skip back to the start of the video you'll be able to see which squad builder it is. So you'll do that and that cost me about 800 coins to do that. And I make about 4,000 coins from this, um, from these silver players. So that is very good to start off and then we'll be able to get into some trading methods. But yeah, basically I just like check all the prices of them and um, if they see if it looks like they've got much potential in being expensive, I basically put them on the market because if say if um, there's a player playing for league one and they're english they're probably not going to be worth much than someone from i don't know algeria playing for the Eng for an english league that will go for a lot because they're not playing for their home um league so most of the time that will work so just ha just if you just um have a look at the details and yeah you'll find which ones to check and basically like at the start of the game you kind of struggle to like get a squad together because in this series I'm not gonna have a squad or anything um, because I'm not gonna be playing matches because the rule I have for this is that I cannot play a single match um, so basically I just can't play a match otherwise I've failed the challenge to get to 1 million coins without playing a match and I haven't even done that on my on my account like the most I could the most I could get to right like I'm on about 100k but I've sold all my team because I'm thinking of making a new team like the amount of teams I've made on my um, main account is just like loads but I've just made some and then played with them and then be like oh that's a really bad team and I've sold it and then I had this league one team and stuff and so when we get to one mil which it'll be 
far in the future. Um, I'll need you guys to try and suggest a squad to me, so you guys will like be like, why don't you have so and so and go, blah -de blah 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 blah, and yeah, I'll just pick a random comment and yeah. Um, so if you do enjoy this series today, where you can learn any trading tricks you like, because um, if you watch this like, if if you've started FIFA 18 and then there's about 10 episodes already up, you can start from episode 1 and work your way up. Because if you copy what I'm doing, by episode 10 I promise you, I'll be on about 100k. 100k. I promise you that. I will be on 100k by the 10th episode because in this episode um, I'm showing you like what to do. like So the trading methods that you can do to try and get up in prices so the way you're gonna do that is like by following the steps did I just say up in prices up in coins so that you can build your team up build your team up like you can obviously play matches as this will be like on your main account so not many people will be interested in this first episode because quite a few people have got FIFA like people that are just starting out will be able to watch this episode and like be like yeah so for this series, like the bronze upgrade, silver upgrade and gold upgrade squad builders will not be any use to us at all. So if you want like I wouldn't I don't even do it on my main account because I've made I did like ten of the gold upgrade ones and like the best player I got was Avier Hernandez who like even though it's um not tradable, he he only goes for like two K and he didn't like he wasn't good enough to fit in my squad even though he is my favorite player um but there is a trading method you can do because as one of my players a couple two of my players have sold i think um i can now do this trading method with someone called go can gonnell if you just search in gonnell Gon gonnell it'll come up and basically as you can see he goes for 1.3k so if you so if you snipe him for under 1k, you can um, you can make quite a bit of profit, like quite quick, because you get one like two per minute, I would say. Like, but that's if you just like quickly put it in your transfer list and then go again. Um, but as you can see in this, I didn't get any, but um, later on in the day I did get one. So I took, so I just took a picture of that, which you'll see in a minute. And um, because I'd recommend doing it at like five or six o'clock, the trading methods I suggest to you guys. Um, because basically, no one's in the middle of the day, like on a Sunday, especially. Like, as you can see, I've got one for 400 coins and that's sold it for like 1.2k. So that was about 750 coins profit out of one card and you get like those 400 coin ones about every two minutes if you're sniping at five or six o'clock at night so i definitely recommend that when you're at about 2k then you can do multiple at a time because like sometimes people aren't buying the 1.1k ones if 1.1 1.2k ones because like they're trying to snipe one themselves but like eventually they will sell like in like the 40th minute if it doesn't sell by the 40th minute i don't know what you've done to it you've probably like made it so you can't play with him but it'll definitely sell by the 40th minute then there's another one you can do with patrice Evra, and he's based you could set you can sell him for 2k like that like he sells almost instantly and basically if you snipe if you snipe one for below like 1.7k, you're making about 270 coins profit every single time. And again, at 5 or 6 o'clock at night, you're sniping them like um, 2 per minute, 3 per minute. And it is a very effective trading method to get to your 10k, which in the next episode, I'll show you how, what trading methods to do with 10k, because like outside of the episode at, at like five or six o'clock at night i'm gonna go and do these trading methods for an hour not an hour probably about it takes me about half an hour 45 minutes to get to 10k with some of these trading methods 
and when you get to 10k I've got some really effective methods that you guys can use when you get to 10k so what a lot of this series will be is me showing you how to do it I'll probably I might record me doing it outside of the episode so I can like show you the time lapse just so you don't think I've cheated like bought FIFA points or whatever um, so I'll probably put that in like the next episode so the training I do between this episode and the next episode I'll put it like say at the start of the next episode but as you can see I can't do the rest those two um, objectives because I have to play a match and buy a new player which I've already done but then I have to play with the player and I can't do that because it's against the rules of the thing so I can't do any of the starter objectives but you guys can if you want but you guys might have a main account but you might want to be doing what I'm doing so you might be following the tips that I'm giving so I would recommend it if you do have like an OP account just start a just make a new PSN or whatever or Xbox Live account and then you can and then you can just like go along, go along. No, not PSN, like just an online ID. You just have to use an email, think of a password, all of that stuff. And you don't have to pay for it, you just can't play online matches. But obviously you're not gonna play matches, are you? Otherwise you're cheating, aren't you? And as you can see that non-rare silver sold for nine hundred coins, like People would think that sell um, for 300 coins, like if they packed it, like, but then like when they go and check for the price, you can see that it can sell for 900, 950 coins. So when you get that silver premium player packs, that, that's the thing that's going to get you um, on your way because you might th like see like three rare players and then you see they're all like cheap ones for like 300 coins. Have a look at the non-rare players and if you don't get them, I don't know what you could do. But I might make a backup video for that so just comment down below if you're struggling with that and I'll make a video for you. For you. Like it might even be especially for you because I want you guys to make your own FIFA team that's pretty good and if you follow with me for the whole whole series like you'll be on a thousand a million coins by the end of the year like i promise i promise that we will be at a million coins by the end of the year and go down below and um, comment your predictions for what episode it will be on so i'm guessing 31st episode we will get the 1 million coins you comment down below and guess what i'm going to give away some fifa points to whoever guesses that right by the end of the year so someone will, might have to remind me but i'm going to have it like in my note in so i have like notes that i have like youtube videos so like i I've, I've got videos planned for about two no not two years but a year and a half away like because one day i just sat down and just typed a load of video ideas and now like put dates next to them and basically I've just had to add all of the trading things because this was an idea I had this morning so you could like I've not even finished putting all the episodes in and like I've gone I've gone like up to about 70 because I, I know we're not going to go further than 70 but I just did it just to be safe but anyway, that's it in today's video guys. Have a nice day or night, whatever time zone you're in, and I hope to see you later. Peace.